now time for um, phonics, okay? So let me tell you what you're going to need. Um, you're going to need page 195 and page 196 in your phonics book, okay? Page 195 and 196, okay? All right, so. We're going to start off today with reviewing those special sounds. I told you that we were going to in school um, um, these particular special sounds because the rest of them are so easy. But these, um, I just feel like that we just need to constantly review these until school is out. Okay? So I N G says good ing as in king, sing, bring, swing, ring, string, thing. I-N-G again says ing as in pointing. The difference is that the I-N-G comes at the end of the word. Point, see that's the word, point, ing, pointing. Handing, mowing, look, ing, fish, ing, try, ing, wax, ing. S-Q-U says squat as in squeak. Remember the U is not a vowel in this special sound. It's a part of the special sound. And Q um, always helps, U always helps the Q, excuse me. Squid, squill, squint, squeeze, squeak, squish. S-C-R says scrr, as in scream. Scrub, screen, Script, screech, scrap, scrape. S P R says spur as in sprain. Spring, spray, sprig, sprint, spree, spry. S P L says spool as in splash, split, split, splendid, spleen, splat. And the last one, S-T-R says stir, as in stream, stray, stroke, strain, stripes, street, struck. Okay, now, looking at your um, phonics book, page 195, okay, um, on number one, it tells us to mark the vowels. Let me say something really quick. I'm guys spelling. You guys blew it out of the water. I want to apologize for not calling the word zig, but most of you guys caught it and you went ahead and you wrote it on your spelling test anyway, so good job. Okay, number one, it says mark the vowels. Mark those vowels and read those words to a mommy, to your mommy, your father, your grandparents, or an older sibling, okay? Um, number two, it says fill in a circle under the letter that completes the word, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to choose a vowel, okay? They have their um, consonants, and some of the words are going to contain one vowel, and some of them are going to contain two. Okay, so let's do a couple of them together, and then you guys can do the rest on your own. Okay, in the pink shaded area, we have the ST. ST says what? St, as in stop. Good. And then they've given you a P. Okay, so we just need one vowel. So it's, the vowel's going to either say A, E, I, A, or A. Uh. So we, they've given us an A and an E. Okay, so let's, and of course we know they're going to say they're short sounds, so we can go ahead and put a smiley face over them. So let's place the A right there. Stap, stap, is that a word? No, that's a silly word. But what if we put the E? Step, step, is that a real word? Yeah, so you're going to bubble in the circle under the E. Okay, looking at the next one, let's go across to the purple shaded area. And we've got the DR. DR says what? Drr as in what? Drum. Okay? And there's a V and then there's an E. So, in the vowels that they've given us, it's an A and an I. Okay, so we know since there's two vowels, the first one's going to be long, so we'll put an I. I'm going to stick over the 
A and the I, and we'll cross out the E because the E is silent. So let's place the A. Okay, and the A is going to say A because it has a stick over it. Drave. Hmm. Is that a real word? Nah, that's a silly word. Okay, so let's try the I. And it's going to say its name because it has a stick over it also. Drive. Is that a real word? Drive. Yeah. Okay. Our mommy will drive the car to the store. Yes. So you would fill in the circle under the I. Okay. So let's do one more. Um, let's look at the, the dark blue shaded area. We've got the TR. TR says tr as in train. Good. Okay. We have a line there and then we have um, an E. And the choices that they've given us is this E and an O. Okay. And we know that there's going to be two vowels. So this one's going to be silent and this one's going to be long. Okay. So let's try the first one. Tree. That's a real word. Okay. Let's try the O. Oh, tro. Is that a real word? No. So we're going to bubble in the circle under the E for the word tree. Okay. So that's what you're going to do for number two. So you're going to complete that. Number three, it says match the pictures that have the same special sound. So let's look at these. Okay, so on the top row, the pictures, that's a picture of a what? A th thumb, okay? The next picture is a sh sh shoe. Okay, let's go back. The special sound in th thumb is what? The TH, good, th as in thick, okay? Sh shoe. What's the special sound? Sh, as in ship, the S-H, okay? And then the third picture, the arrow's pointing to the little boy's what? What is this? Ch-ch-chen, that is your chen. Ch-ch-chen, what special sound do you hear? The C-H, good job, okay? And then the last picture is red, red. What special sound do you hear? The B-R, br as in bride, good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to match the pictures at the top to the pictures at the bottom that begin with the same special sound. So let's go ahead and say the pictures, um, this, the last, the second row of the pictures. Okay, so the first picture is a ch -ch church with special sound, the C-H. So um, the church should be matched to the what? To the little boy's chin. So ch, chin, ch, church. So draw a line from the little boy's picture of the little boy to the church. Okay, so the next picture is a number. What is that? That's the number 30. 30. What special sound do you hear at the beginning of, beginning of 30? The TH, good. So what picture are you going to match the number 32? The thumb, good job, thumb. All right, so the next picture is a picture of a br br bridge. What special sound do you hear at the beginning of br bridge? Very good, the BR. So what picture are you going to match the br bridge to? The bread, good. Okay, and then the last picture is a picture of a sh ship. Very good, the shoe, awesome. Okay, turn the page. Okay, this is an exercise that you're going to um, complete by yourself, but I'm going to go over the directions with you because then you're going to color it after you finish drawing it, okay? It says, read each sentence, do what it says. I want you to do exactly what it says, okay? I'm going to be checking for that. Okay, it says, this is a truck, okay? And the reason why I've chosen to write this sentence on the board because I want you guys to understand that this little word right here is pronounced a, uh, not a. This is a truck, okay? This little word right here makes the short U sound, okay? That's the reason why I wrote it because I'm, when I'm listening to your reading, um, when you guys send your reading video into me, you're pronouncing this word as a. That's incorrect, it's a, uh, okay? All right, on letter A, it says, make tires 
on the truck, okay? If you need help reading the sentences, mark your vowels, okay? It makes it easy. It says make tires on the truck. So you're going to draw tires on the truck, okay? Letter B, it says what? Make a hat on the man. Easy, easy words to read. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw a hat on the man. It can be a baseball cap, it can be a top hat, whatever type of hat you want to draw. Letter C, it says what? Make the truck red. So what color are you going to color the truck? You want to color it red. Please don't color it blue, yellow, orange. Color it red. That's what it tells us to do. Then it says, letter D, make the tires what? Black. So when you draw the tires, um, after you draw the tires, you're not going to color them right away. You're going to wait till you get down to letter D, um, and you're going to color your tires black. Letter E, it says, make the, the IR is a special sound, er as in bird, dirt in the truck brown. So there's the dirt. What color? Brown. Good. And the last um, one, letter F, it says, make the man's hat and shirt blue. So his shirt is going to be blue. Okay, now, <clears throat> there's a little bird there. Color the bird, okay? Don't leave it white color, okay? So I want you guys to do a really good job with coloring this and then submit page 195 because you will have completed all of number one and number two together and then um, the back, okay? And that will do it for phonics. So I'll see you back here for one of those subjects, <laughs> okay? So I'll see you in a bit, sweethearts.